Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the power 64 in chapter 15. Chapter 15 is about the waves. So there we have the two strings, two wires, right? So first wire L1 and the mu1 is given. The second wire L2 and the mu2 is given. And then we connect them with the and then becomes a new wire. And then the tension is given for these wires. We need to find the lowest frequency of standing waves can exist on these waves. So for this one, we need to find the frequency. So now we need to see what the quantity is given, L mu, and it's a tension, right? So very easily we can consider this function. For this one, we can see the speed of the wave is lambda times f, this is by definition. And for standing wave, also equal to squared ft over mu. Do you agree? Yes. And for standing waves, this wavelength is de de depend on the length of these uh, wires, the distance between two nodes L and the N. Agree? Yes. How much passion, how much nodes on these waves? So in this one, we can input the lambda inside and to solve the frequency F. And finally, we find the frequency equals uh, just can be given in this equation. And n is integral, l is the distance between two n's, ft is the tension which is given, and mu is the linear density. And for this wire, we can see the frequency is constant, because this is a two wire l1, and then we can consider l2, right, connected together. So the frequency is the same. So the frequency is the same, we get the frequency for the L1, this part equals the frequency for L2, right? And then this part we can see, Ft, Ft equals, we can cancel them, 2, 2 equals, we can cancel them. So we can get the ratio for the N1 to N2 equal to this function, agree? And then in this function, you can see L1, L2, mu1, mu2 are given. So we find this ratio is just a 2 over 5. And we need to find the lowest frequency. So we can make the N1 equal to 2. N2 equals to 5. Agree? Yes. Now we can find the lowest frequency in this function. So lowest is N1, L1, Ft, mu1. See, N1 is just a 2. L1 is just uh, given, Ft is given, mu1 is given, so you can get the value for the frequency, the lowest frequency f. The next one asks you how many nodes uh, are in, in these standing waves. So it is so easy because first one we look at the L1, this is N1, and then how many nodes N2, and also we need to find the nodes at this two end, agree? And the two and also they just share one knot. This part they share one one knot. So minus one, finally it's eight knots. Thank you.